So I've been uh, been using the Vanguard Power, the Vanguard Selkirk Power for the last uh, I don't know about, about the last month now. Uh, over quarantine, I was the practice dummy, and they they put probably six different prototypes in my hand, <laughs> and we finally uh, uh, found the one that uh, made sense. I felt like you know it uh, it was it was plenty forgiving, gave me good spin, um, but that little added twenty percent of uh, of pop that I needed for counter punching. For, you know, having a bit more pop on the serve, on the drive, getting some more depth in singles. Um, there was two main uh, pieces in my game that I felt like I was missing. The uh, big clubby counter punch and then some more uh, depth on the return in singles. And I'm not going to lie, over the last month, I definitely feel like I've been getting better depth. I've been able to punch the volley down a bit more, um, get some easier stick. And... Um, uh, anyhow, so yeah, I've been using it for the last month. I uh, love the paddle over quarantine. Like I said, we went through six different prototypes. We finally found the paddle that made sense. Uh, but my idea with the Vanguard Power was to kind of have one-stop shopping where not only did you have some pop, um, but it had a nice big hitting zone. It wasn't too stiff. The uh, uh, Invicta Vanguard Power has been out for about three months. I know uh, Radley's Mach 6 has been out a, a little longer. Um, but uh, I threw the Vanguard Power in Kyle's hands a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was impressed. And it, you know, it's interesting for... Uh you know, for people just to think from your perspective, I mean, you've won, you've had so much success and just putting balls in play, being consistent. I think with the way the game's going, you definitely sense that you needed a little bit more power, but yeah. finding that right balance is obviously important. You have a certain level of expectation for yourself every time you go into these tournaments with yeah. consistency. But one thing I was impressed with was, yeah, obviously there's going to be less feel in any power paddle compared to a more soft forgiving fa uh, paddle, but uh, the grab and the ability to feel the spin on the paddle, I think, is is really really top notch for you know a, a paddle in that power power category. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, are you going to be making the switch? Because I know at uh, the U.S. Open you were uh, using your amped. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that I had enough touches, in, yeah, right, and I wasn't right, going right. to get the paddle early enough to feel confident with it. Right. I mean, definitely when I was down there. You know, we'll talk more about it, but Franklin Ball in Naples, you definitely want a little bit more oomph and, and not rely on just your strength alone. So it looks like I will probably go that direction. Uh, like I said, I just want to spend a couple of, of weeks drilling with it just to, to make sure I'm comfortable with it before I, uh, before I enter a tournament. Yeah. And uh, uh, for the viewers out there, if you are currently using a Vanguard Power and you feel like there's a rattlesnake in your paddle. <laughs> the uh, maraca. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a sucker. <laughs> so uh, if it is if it is rattling, uh, do know that this is just a defect for uh, the uh, first batch. Gotcha. Um, there's there's also um, previously been a paint defect with the Vanguard Hybrid, and I believe with the Vanguard Power as well. That is going to be fixed. So once they get their next batch in, um, I was just talking to Rob Barnes. Um, they're going to be using a different filler for the Vanguard Power. That will enable the paddle to be um, uh, concrete. It's mm -hmm. not going to break down. Um, the filler that they're using right now is too thin. And so with that being said, uh, I'm not going to lie. After 45 minutes <laughs> of using a brand, a brand new Vanguard Power, it sounds like there's stuff moving around in the paddle. And there uh, very much is. It does <laughs> not affect the hitting zone. It does no. not affect the power. It doesn't affect the paddle at all. Um, but, uh, but you know, you know, if you're paying one ninety nine, obviously there's probably shouldn't be stuff rattling around in your paddle, but, uh, Selkirk is gonna, it's gonna fix that. Um, so just be aware that, uh, if you're worried about the sound, I've been using the paddle for the last month. It's totally fine. Yes. It sounds kind of a pain in the ass, but, um, uh, it will all be fixed. So is the U.S. Open the first uh, time that you used the power version, or was I, there another one? Uh, I used it two weeks before the Newport PPA okay, and got, gotcha. got comfortable with it and then used, yeah, used it there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, one thing that I, that I truly like is that I don't have to second-guess my soft game. I don't have to second guess, um, you know, uh, playing defense in transition. You know, I can still play good defense. And what's nice too is that, uh, you know, with my amp, I had a hard time swinging or like closing or being aggressive in transition, mm -hmm. and I, and, I, and I had a hard time poaching on my backhand side uh, with the amp in transition because I just couldn't do enough with it. Yeah. So it's nice with the, with the Vanguard Power, I can swing a bit more. I can trust my backhand. Ding. <laughs> I, can, I can trust my backhand. Um, you know, in that disconnect pattern you know when i'm looking to poach um so i think it's just nice to be able to swing free and trust it 
not have something that's you know overly soft. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. I mean, to be able to bring some offense sometimes when you're just slightly out of position, yeah. a little off the kitchen line, adds more variety, makes your opponents much more uncomfortable. So, yeah. yeah, again, with the way the game's going, just like we talked about, you have to win in a more complex manner or have a little bit more variety. I think this will help a lot of um, higher level, uh, higher level players, all levels really, but uh, definitely that higher level with the game getting more aggressive. Yeah, but if I could like, let's talk about paddles real quick. If I could classify two different, let's say we have two two categories. The the first category is super poppy, and the second category is is mid poppy. I would say first category, uh, Gearbox GX5, the Pro Connects, Engage, mm-hmm. Electrum. Uh, you know, obviously not as soft, but just clubbier in hell. Uh, uh, sure. Category two yep. is like Franklin and uh, Franklin Paddle Tech, the new Vanguard Power. Um, what else is in there? Uh, 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 I think yeah, yeah. And then yeah, let's say category three. Maybe maybe the Onyx, the the, the premiere. Doesn't yeah, have that you know what? I, I, I've I, heard, I think heard that's it has pretty hot. It might I, be. It might I, be. I up think in the yeah, top I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Um, really, the sound, the ball sounds off the pallet. Sounds it's, it's pretty like thin. It's, too. The exit velocity is yeah, pretty, pretty yeah, big. Yeah, and I think uh, I mean I mean the thirteen millimeter franklin could be in that first category right, but i but right. i know i know the 16 obviously is a little a little thicker yeah more grabbier more than just power alone yeah. yeah yeah but uh uh you know for uh uh, uh rafa hewitt uh played with him this morning he used to use a pro uh, and i should label the paddle do you know you know what pro paddle he used was it like the over the Ovation or yeah, I just I don't know the names. I know the shapes, right? right. So I think it was the, the, the teardrop he's using. Yeah, yeah, the the pink uh, teardrop. Yep, yep. Um, and uh, anyhow, so he he uh, had had been using that for about six months. He just got sponsored by Head, and so he was using the Radical Pro this morning. And I'm not gonna lie, the uh, Pro Connex uh, gives him like an extra ten percent of power. The exit sure. velocity is yeah. a distinct yeah, yeah, difference yeah. with that yeah. thing. I yeah. think he uh, he's probably his, his uh, soft game and. Transition defense is probably better with that head paddle, yep. but like the serve, the drive, the the punch when he's off his back foot and he's just bailing out and swinging and like winning hand speed battles, uh, he cannot do that with with the head. Not to the same level. Sure, I know he sure. told me switching to head, he's really liked his ability to reset now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you just lose a little bit on that counter punching. For, for sure. Um, yeah, it's always always a trade a trade off. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's what true. are you looking for? It's true.